Gotta give a check here. Must. Okay. I think we'll just give a piece and go king g7. So it takes king g7. We have back rank stuff, which is why I'm not losing another piece. Bishop f4, maybe g5. But this has been a uh, this has been a successful timeout of I would say yeah g5 now takes we play rook takes and takes here and we just take back and take on e5 the bishops dominate the board here. Okay, a clear threat. Clear threat. Keeps everything defended. B4, I really like next. That'll put the knight on a really weird square. Better go there. Good. Start with this one. I think g3 has to happen. Ooh. Not h3, unfortunately. G, g. Yeah, the KOs will have to be in the chat. I don't have my, uh, I don't have my KO handy. I don't have my KO on me right now. Left my house without my ID. That was good. That was a timeout off game. A little bit weird he didn't play knight f3 first, but we basically got our same opening, except instead of the knight being here in white castle, the knight was here and we had an extra move. So we're way ahead. And this was uh, a little bit of nonsense. Yeah. And black's just better. Okay. Well, no surprise here, c5, and after c3, let's make a move that attacks e4. Not e6, because then d4 will happen, you will not like your position. Honestly, a pretty rare move, I would say. You don't see this one too often. Both of these moves are fine here. I'm gonna choose knight c7. Let's make sure to get rid of this pawn. Knight c6 as well. Okay, that's aggressive. He's giving me a free pawn from what I can see. We'll take back. And yeah, free pawn. I know they're doubled, but free pawn is a free pawn. F5 is very tempting here. I think it might be time for F5. Kind of a risky move, I'm not going to lie. But I think... Uh, we're ahead enough right now that we can play it. Because e4 is just so annoying. Knight g5, e4 anyway. 
Queen h5 always gets met with that. We'll push and push and push against David here. You know, I think I might do this. Looks weird, but I, I want to get ready for that move and long castle. Okay, now that there's no check, we'll kick the knight out. We'll reach this diagonal first before he does. We'll get our knight in. And now that he's castled that way, I don't think uh, this move needs too much introduction. H5, H4. I mean, we're... Our king is not being attacked at all, totally safe. And once we open the H file, this should be very uncomfortable. F5. Okay, there's en passant here. There's also just taking. Takes, takes, and then um, takes on g3. It looks like the best way. If I take here first, then, you know, pieces come to the defense. No need for that. All right. Where's the, where's the good move? It's around here somewhere. Bishop e5 kind of looks good, but technically does not threaten to checkmate. Um, g4 looks amazing. Disconnects the queen and bishop. A lot of really good ideas here. I kind of like this one, but not gonna lie, this this has a certain uh, air about it. Feels right. So this comes with an immediate and unstoppable threat. Uh, bishop takes d4 would also be very, very wrong. You know, it's funny, it looks like he's, you know, helping his king, but he actually just made it his own king. And that mate was not, it was not there without his assistance. Rook f2 helped me out, actually. So, we didn't really get a chance, like this could have been any Sicilian, obviously. But the key thing to remember is that when c3 happens, your opponent wants to play d4. And I promise you, your entire setup, your entire Taimanov idea will be awful if you continue to do it. Meaning, if you do the exact same Taimanov moves, you'll get killed. Right? There's an open file, your queen is going to be silly there, your knight already gets harassed. Like... It's really, really wrong, this position already. So, you just have to play knight f6. Same thing here. Um, let's say you play this, they play c3, same thing. So, just important when they play c3, attack the e-pawn. This queen a4 check nonsense will never work because in the Taimanov you never push the d-pawn, so at least in the opening, so there won't be a check. Not a player at all. All right, <laughs> c4, okay. We got the reversed. This should be a familiar position. Oh, 
You're telling me we already won a piece? Thank you. Oh, two pieces. Ah, you shouldn't have. So kind. This guy is done playing this game, let me tell you that. Yeah, I just have a feeling he's going to play A2. Yeah, or resign. I wanted to threaten checkmate there so that he would play A2 and the game would be over. Clearly, he was done. He blundered in the opening, then he just gave up. You could feel it by the by the moves he was making. But this is just all our time out of moves, simple stuff. Bishop A5 is nonsense. Because guess what? If you put your bishop here, 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 it doesn't matter. I'm playing b4 no matter what. So the fact that you allow me to just trap your bishop is cherry on top. And then the cherry on top of the cherry was this. <laughs> now you lose two pieces. All right. c4. We'll stick with that. Ooh. A little pre-move there. I mean, that's uh, that's a surprising one. We could take this way. I'm actually going to take with the D pawn. I have a feeling if I go here, he's going to pre-move that. I hope he doesn't, but... I have a weird feeling. Okay. Thankfully, we were proven wrong. Um, let's go E for it. Bishop b7, maybe e5. It's a nice aggressive move. Yeah, he doesn't like e5, you can tell. You can tell. Let's just throw that out there. Can't play knight e2 with this pawn hanging. Maybe if he goes here, I'll develop the knight to h3, but for now, no can do. Knight e2 watches over those squares. f6 is a little bit of a weird one. Um, I'd love to maybe do that, but. Knight takes f3 uh, is playable, so. Maybe it's time for this. I like g4. I like my space. Go me. Okay, I'll go g5, f5, generally speaking, I think I'm happy to, to see it. e5 wants to happen. Stop that. D5. Hmm. Okay, we're we're all in in the center of the board now. 
bishop f5, rook e6, maybe even captures. Ah, uh, this is a bit of a lame move. Rook e6, rook e1, king d7, and bishop f5 mate was far more attractive. So we're going to have to make up for it. Um, g6 doesn't work. Rook f6, bishop d6. Yeah, we'll have to go for this. And it would be nice if it was all checks for a mate, but... We're threatening checkmate in two, by the way. That one's going to be a mate. Let's throw this in. We can really like clean up every piece, but check. We'll meet him with bishops. This was an interesting game. Nothing to do with the time out of. Just a unique opening, unique position. The only thing I kind of regretted here was um, not taking this. Because 95 is really unlikely here. So um, this probably would have happened, which would have been a little bit nicer. Bishop f5 is a good move, but rook e6. Had a very high chance to end the game in a couple moves. Har har, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy the result, but always, I'm always ready to bring out uh, the old Jerome. Next. All right, we, uh, we finally, finally got a Sicilian, and we still don't really have a Taimanov. This can, can basically be played against any Sicilian, so. However, I think I can still offer a few insights here. This is like the Smith Mora, but for the Mora, what I like to do, and it, you, it works pretty well, um, is that I like to push the pawn. Okay, that's not revolutionary. Everyone's seen that. So basically not accept the Mora. Um, and then go G6, like the everybody's plan should be Bishop g7. h4 I don't think I've seen. Wonder what the idea is. We could go h6 or h5. I'll go h6. So h5, g5. But anyway, um, I like to play g6. And honestly, a move that I've been enjoying instead of immediately playing Bishop g7 is uh, is just d6, because that usually lets me get this bishop out to g4, and then bishop g7. I really wish that uh, this was a bit more of a standard game, and I could offer some actual cool advice, but it looks like he's playing a little offbeat here, so we won't have too many groundbreaking uh, groundbreaking ideas. Normally, white castles kingside, so this whole thing with bishop g4 is really relevant. But here, he's yeah, he's clearly clearly on another tangent. The reason I'm not in a rush is uh, I also have knight c4, so.
Takes 94 is probably nonsense, yeah. Okay. Pawn's hanging. He doesn't care. Takes queen d3. We just have to be sure that we're all right there. Should be okay. Hard to refuse a center pawn, you know? D5 guards both. Hello, Sleazy. Did I buy the drink though? I did, Adam Hart Lover. I did buy the drink and I was actually live streaming during that. So the proof is there that I did get the drink and I did deliver it. You can always trust me for that. Paying my end of the bargain. I wish that, um, <laughs> wish that we had thought this one through because we're definitely going to be a lot worse after takes. Okay, it's a good thing he uh, he bought it because that was not going to be good for us. See, I don't think we can take. This is like actually still tricky. Yeah, I mean, I have to go here now. Very annoying. Okay. Bailed out a little bit there, I have to say. Bailed out. Because I think Queen G6 was uh, very relevant in every variation there. Like at any point, I think it could have been played. Suppose we can technically pre-move this. I didn't realize I had four seconds, so that's <laughs> it's also relevant. I didn't realize night takes was a thing. He obviously played too quickly, but... Because <laughs> in my head, like, this was pinned pretty much the entire last, like, five to ten moves. So I was always like, yeah, takes, takes, or, ta or whatever. Something would take, but it wouldn't be the night. <laughs> I definitely did not expect that. And then uh, some fortunate moves for us there at the end, for sure. But even here, this wasn't good. Like, uh, he can just take it. Uh, he just didn't notice this because I'm in big trouble there. If king here, queen takes, hits the rook. If king here, rook f1, just looks wrong. With the white pieces, we've gotten the, you know, the reverse position pretty often, I would say. So we can go here because uh, E4 never works out. Okay, this should be a familiar position. I think I might just go there. Yeah. This doesn't really bother me and it shouldn't bother you either. 
Um, we're going to get a really nice attack going here. Maybe the H pawn as well, but this is a really comfortable mass of pawns. So we'll threaten that. Okay. Well, we'll threaten it and we'll execute the threat. Don't mind if I do. Let's take, bring this bishop back. Guarding that pawn. And this is what I meant, you know. The H pawn can move up the board. Even if he had his pawn here, I would probably be playing the exact same way. I guess that's an idea, but... Let's push and use the rook for the G file. Taking this pawn, there's always queen d2, so that's why I haven't been doing that. I could take this pawn, but my focus has kind of been on expanding over here. h6 g6 seems to be always playable at least for the moment one move i can try is this i would love um, a queen trade that's for sure so i'm a fan of queen c5 there we go nice Let's go rook c2. Hi. Hello. Hey buddy. Here, knight f4, takes, takes, kind of wrong. So I think we should probably move the king. Safety first, you know? Safety first. Yes, take this. The bishops kind of dominate. This uh, timeout of structure has been intact pretty much the whole game. Opponent's playing pretty well. He's down a couple pawns, but nothing, nothing too bad at all. A4, bishop A3. Let's bring the king back. Yeah, I like, I like A4 to give the bishop some room. This is available, but I'm, I'm just going to go back. Bishop a2 looks really tempting. And bishop a3, again, these bishops are worth a lot here. Okay. Attack the rook. Now let's pin the knight. It's really hard to get out of this pin, and e4 is about to win the knight. Rook c6, so it's like, yeah, king there, it's a good move. But after rook here, you'll notice that the king gets forced back onto the the pin. That, that was just, uh, I don't know, unlucky. Like, I don't think he could have avoided it. These bishops here didn't look like much on b2 and b1, but...
Good game to my buddy from Brazil here. <laughs> Luck issue. I think so, Sleazy. We just got a little lucky, that's all. The timeout off structure remains undefeated. Because this is the... Um, this is the structure here, right? Like... We've pretty much got it. It's not with the black pieces reversed here, but it's uh, it's exactly what we want. And you know, I just always like b4, bishop, b2. The bishop can make it to d3, but these situations where they take here, I don't mind these personally. G file and the, uh, the h pawn are often really useful and your pieces are just aimed directly at the king. So it's kind of nice. So let's see. It is an e4 game. All right. A full time on of queen c7. a6. All right, this should be a familiar setup. Leaving the king side pieces, focusing on the queen side. If the knight takes, we play queen takes. Um, it's an interesting move. I think bishop e7 is fine, but when I see this, my instinct is to play knight e5 because now the c4 square is really, uh, yeah, really, really weak. Bishop b7, yeah, knight e5 is really strong against bishop f3. That's for sure. There's no f4 move to kick us out. Yes, knight c4 is a great move, but I'll play bishop here. Um, don't want to run into, I don't know what happens, some e5 nonsense. Okay, here's knight c4. <laughs> Looks kind of annoying to me. Like, bishop c1 is totally playable, but that's not the easiest move to make. It's more likely that he plays like queen e2 and, you know, queen c1 maybe. Good move by him. Um, we're going to continue with the themes of the opening, which is all queen side development. That knight's attack, don't forget. Uh, I think he might have forgotten, but this move is good enough that um he's covered so no that's completely fine knight e7 knight takes b5 kind of hurts for some reason this move interests me very aggressive if he takes obviously the knight hangs so Kind of a fun move. Ooh. What's happening here? I could take this and have uh, three pieces for the queen, but queen c5 and then both uh, pieces are hit. I think this is, should be enough. Remember, there's no knight d6. That's big difference. So he'll probably go one of these moves. And yeah, I mean, this square is covered. We're up a piece. We also won the dark square bishop, which is easily the most like valuable piece we could have won. Let's get developed. I'm liking h5, g4. Also bishop c6 to take. Yeah, it feels like his whole play was for knight d6, and now, I mean, the squares that he has the least control over are the dark squares. So I don't think it's happening. Oops. He's blundering all the pieces now. 
Well, if we take, there's this. So, of course, we should start like that. Don't blunder that. Okay, so he covers... Uh, he covers mate, but all we need to do is um, move our king up, and then we'll be covering a8. And that's really all that matters. GG and oh wow, that was a that was a 1600. So we got a, a good chunk of change. We got a good chunk of change for that.